Alright, so this is part three of the CSP series. Um, in this video, I'll be going over the kite shapes. Um, this is not a kite. This is a kite shape. Um, so I'm not going to go over how to trace uh, any of the four edge cases because they were already covered in part two of this video. And also, I'm not going to cover um, tracing the mirrors just for the sake of the length of this video. Um, tracing the mirrors should be really straightforward for most of these cases. Um, there's something really abnormal, I'll point it out. Okay, so um, the first case is kite kite. Um, yeah, trace it like that. And obviously, if you have even parity, you can just do that, and that'll um, solve even parity. If you have odd parity for kite kite, then what you have to do is you have to first you move it off to the side and then do a 4 negative 1 and that'll turn it into a paw paw and then you can slice these corners in order to get a solve odd parity like that and as an example tracing starting with this uh, we're gonna go uh, 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 Six? Yeah, six. No, it's five because it goes right back in there. Let's try that one more time. So this goes one, two, three, four, five. That's just five. And then four corners. Um, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, ten. So that's even parity. That means I can just slash it like that and just proceed onward. Next case here is scallop kite, and for scallop kite, um, for the even algorithm, you're just gonna do scallop kite normally, as you do in the scallop kite method. Um, if you've odd parity, then what you need to do is you need to rearrange the kite so that it's in the back this time. So the way to do this is to move the scallop off to the side, bring uh, this part of the kite up. Then you want to move this such that when you slice it again, it's gonna be in the back this time. And then from there you can do scalp kite normally. Now that method is pretty important in doing um, cube shape for a lot of cases because it uses the same exact thing. So I'll do an example trace for this. Um, this has to go to one, two, three, four, and starting with this, five. Five for edges. This one has to go six back there, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have ten in total, which means I have even parity. So I can just do scalp kite in the conventional way. Yep. Next off, we have barrel kite. Okay, so in this case, if you have even parity, then you can just do um, the even parity just like that with the standard three slice. And if you have odd parity, on the other hand, uh, what you want to do is first you want to slice like that, and then you want to turn this into pawn pawn, paw paw, um, so that you can uh, shift around these corners. And then from there, Solving that should be relatively straightforward. So let's do an example trace. Um, so I'm gonna start with this as the black red. So let's go one, one, two, uh, three, four, five back there. Five. So starting with this six, seven, eight, nine, no, nine, ten. 10 so I have even parity so I would just do barrel kite the normal way like that there we go next up we have shield kite so the way you can distinguish between even not parity of uh, an algorithm 
is for even parity, you're going to do the standard shield kite um, solving method with the kite in the back like this. So you would be doing this. And for odd parity, you're going you're gonna to want to put the kite in the front like that and then solve like that. that. That works for mirrors as well, so you can trust me on that. And here's an example trace. So okay, starting with this, we're gonna go here, one, two, three, four, let's start with the five, six, seven, right? No, that's not right, starting with this. One, two, um, three, four, back there, five, six, six for edges, so starting with this, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So I have thirteen, that's going to be odd parity. So I'm going to put the kite in the front and do shield kite like that. Alright, so the next case we have here is a muffin kite. So the two ways to do muffin kite for even rod parity are very similar. Um, it's just with a small alteration in them. So they both begin with turning it into shield barrel like this. But the way you proceed from here is make it make a difference. So for even parity, you want to put this two grouping in the front like that. And then do shield shield normally like that. For odd parity, you want to put this two grouping in the back, like this, like so. So as an example trace, starting with this edge, we're going to go to um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, for corners, um, eight right here, nine, back there, 10, 11, 12. So I have 12 in total, which means I am going to do the even parity, which involves putting this two grouping in the front. There we go. So next up is the pawn kite case. So to do the even case, um, you can easily do that by turning uh, this into a shield square. You can do this by associating one of these L shapes with this entire paw, uh, in particular this edge. So you can do that and get shield square like that. That's for the even case. And for odd, you want to go down the scallop scallop path, which is which involves pairing this with this and then joining this two group with this two group, like that. Um, and just like before, it doesn't really matter which paw. So for this one, um, if you want to do um, an even parity, you could just do that. And for odd parity, you would just need to pair it up with this, like that. As an example trace, so remember we start with uh, this edge and this corner. So starting with this, we go, no, actually starting with this, we go one, um, two, back there, everything's good. So we have two for edges, starting with this, uh, one, actually two, three, four, five. Starting with this, six, seven, eight. So we have eight in total, and that means we can do a uh, shield square. Because it's even parity. Booyah. Alright, and the last case we'll go over is fist kite. So fist kite is a little hard to explain but I'll try and give you the general gist. So instead of going over even parity first, I'll go over odd parity. Basically, 
you when you do fist kite, um, you basically go on this path to get scout kite. There's two ways you can do that. Um, one way is by doing this like two gen algorithm where you only move this and do it, this slice move and this up layer. So you would do that. Notice how I didn't move the D move D layer at all, and then you get scalp cut like that. Basically, that is the odd parity algorithm. And if you wanted to do in the even parity algorithm, you would start off with the same thing, but instead you would do it such that you move the D layer like that and get scalp cut from there. We can do the same thing for fist. Um, direction of the fist um, doesn't matter. Actually, not direction, the chirality of the fist. So, if we wanted to do even parity, we would move the D layer like this and get scalp height like that. And if we wanted odd parity, we would not move the D layer at all and just get scalp height like that. So, as an example, um, I'm going to start with this. This so just go one, two, three, four, starting here, five. So, five for edges, uh, six, um, back here, seven, eight, nine, nine back there, and ten. So, I have ten in total, which means I have even parity. Um, which means I have to do the one where uh, one of the faces is turned. So what I would do probably in this case is flip it over like this and then do the sequence of moves. Remember since it's even parity I have to move the D layer when making scallop kite. And there we go. So yeah, those are all the kite cases for this video. Woohoo!